Oh yeah, check out that dude. My name is Burf and this is my turf. I'm straight out of the thrift store. Hey, what's up? It's your boy Burf and I'm at Craptastic Sam's. About to head in here and see what kind of goodies they got. So hopefully we'll find some vintage toys. That's what we're always on the hunt for. Vintage, vintage 70s toys, vintage 80s toys, retro 90s toys, heck. I'll even take some modern toys if they're cool enough. So we're gonna keep our fingers crossed and pray, 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 that the vintage Craptastic Sam's gods are good to me today. All right, anything here? Uh, doesn't look like it. Well, since that glass case was a little empty, let's rummage through some bags. All right, well, let's see what do we got. What is this? This is a Rick and Morty blind box. Oh, no, 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 it's not a blind box. It's a puzzle. It's a puzzle. Let's see. Growing poo. That's disgusting. <laughs> okay, there's that Ben 10 figure. Last time I was here, he was actually in this bag over on the shelf. But I don't really see anything else in there. Got some Barbie dolls. El Chavo. Oh yeah, nothing here, just some plushies. It's like an, oh, I thought that was like an R2-D2 plush for a second. Yeah. What's this thing? What? Some sort of little robot there. It's kind of fun looking. And just some cars in this bag. Looks like we've got an MLP that's missing its wings and it's unicorn or whatever. <laughs> Maybe it's hair. What else is in here? Mm, just some horses and stuff. All right, well, baggy section's a little weak, so let's go check the shelves. All right, well, what do we got down here? Looks like a DJ booth. Man, they must be getting ready to go through a restock or maybe they just had a sale because these shelves are looking bare. Yeah, there's a, there's like nothing. We've seen that race car here for a couple of weeks now. These shelves are empty. What's this? The Beverly Hillbillies, the first three episodes. Clamp at Strike Oil, getting settled. Meanwhile, back at the cabin. Hmm. Well, 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 what do we have here? What is this? It's like Mario, but it's like all in Chinese or something. Oh, that is cool. $4.94, okay. It's not bad, five bucks. Uh, Grand Prix race. All right, I'm gonna look this up. All right, guys, so I picked up the Mario Kart game, the Grand Prix racer. Uh, it says Mario Kart Wii on it. So I guess it's maybe associated with the Wii system. I don't know, but uh, when we get home later, We'll do a little show and tell with it because I don't even know if all the pieces are there. <laughs> but it seemed like it was a good enough deal and I was captivated by the artwork. So uh, I also picked up a little something something. So we'll jump in the car real quick and take a look at what else I got. All right, I got that little bag for this little guy. This little solar rover robot. You know me. I love robots. Couldn't pass him up. He's pretty cool. I don't know if he actually works or not. He's supposed to be like solar powered and run off of solar energy. I've got him sitting in the sun here, but he ain't doing nothing. <laughs> but uh, anyway, I grabbed this little guy. It was $2.92. I don't know if he's actually even worth that, but he's gonna stay in my personal collection just because I think he's dope. And like I said, I picked this up for $4.94. It's uh, kind of cool. I mean, I don't, uh, it's some sort of game that you play. 
uh, like an actual game. I don't, I don't think this actually attaches to your Wii, but I think it's based on the Wii Mario Kart game, but it's all in Chinese, which, you know, I was like, well, that's different. I just uh, need to find out if it's worth anything. It's not anything I want to keep. I definitely want to see if I can resell this on eBay or Facebook Marketplace, but I'm going to first need to find out if all the pieces are here with it. So when we get home a little later, we'll put this thing together and see if it's complete. All right, up next, we're going to hit up the thrift store. So let's head that way and see what kind of goodies they got. All right, my friends, we are here. We are at the thrift store. So we're going to lock our car first and then we're gonna keep our fingers crossed and pray that the vintage thrift store gods are good to me today. Well, what do we got in the glass case? We got some Hot Wheels and it looks like an Iron Man, actually a Hulkbuster, but that's about it. All right, well, let's get to rummaging through some bags here, see if we can find something cool. What is this? This polar bear. He's got some sort of uh, some sort of armor on him. It's kind of cool looking. It's the only thing in that bag though. How much do they want for the bag? Two ninety two. All right. Well, that's a consideration. All right. What do we got here? Oh, we got some sort of pelican. And then I think this dude isn't he from the movie Ice Age or something? Hey, look at that little dude. He's like a little gorilla. What else is in here? Mm, nothing really. We got this guy from Lion King. But I ain't seeing nothing else. What's in this bag? Lots of smalls in here. McDonald's toys. Nothing I want. And we've got a cage. I don't know what this thing is. Well, this looks like it might be some sort of play set or something. Oh, this is like a bowling alley that's in here. All right. Oh, there's a Star Wars figure. Oh, check this out. It's a Yo Gabba Gabba guitar. You know, I actually, oh, I guess it was maybe a year and a half ago. I found a Yo Gabba Gabba toy that had like all of the characters and it was kind of like you press a button they all would like sing and i, I bought it for like 3.99 and sold it for like 50 60 dollars so these yo gabba gabba things can be quite uh, uh what's the word i'm looking for valuable they can be quite valuable valuable got that all seen eye going on all right well i'm gonna look into this i'll probably pick this up it's uh I've never seen anything like it. And anytime I see something that I've never seen before, it's always a good idea to get it because more often than not, it's worth something. Oh, look what we have right here. This is a uh, Imagine Next. Is this a, um, isn't this Mo a Mongol or something like that from DC Comics? Hey, he's pretty cool, man. I might have to look him up, see how much he's going for. All right, guys, so this dude right here is selling for about 15 to 20 bucks. Um, I was trying to see if they want $1.91 for him, so I think we'll get him and flip him. And then this little guitar right here, this Yo Gabba Gabba, this thing's selling for like $25 on eBay. So I can get it for 95 cents. Can't beat that. I don't know if it works though. That's the only thing. Actually, let me see if I can turn it on. Yeah, I just turned it on. It's not working, but it probably just needs batteries. All right, well, we got ourselves some little money scores here. All right, so I'm actually gonna put this guy back. I looked and there's actually, the last time any of him sold was back in May. So he's not like a product, a toy that's moving very fast. And uh, I think I was more just attracted to these bright colors than anything. You know me, I love vibrant colored toys. And he is cool, man, but uh, yeah, I don't wanna get on them and sit on them forever. But these things here, these things are moving pretty quick. So we'll get this for sure. Oh, check out this VHS, Muppet Treasure Island. Oh, that is, whoa. <laughs> 
up here so it doesn't fall. That is cool. All right, I'm probably gonna snag this. Oh, look at Miss Piggy. All right, so we're gonna get that. And what is this? DuckTales, the movie, Treasure of the Lost Lamp. Swan Princess, babe. What's this, three caballeros. All right, I'm definitely getting this. Maybe this. Oh, on second thought. I don't like that crack, that bothers me. I'm gonna put this back. All right, guys, we got ourselves a Yo Gabba Gabba guitar. <laughs> so uh, when we get home and check on the Mario Kart board game thingy, uh, we'll plug some batteries in this and see if we can get this bad boy to work. It only cost me a dollar three with tax. And if I can flip that sucker for 25 bucks, that's a good day. <laughs> All right, I don't know exactly which thrift store we're gonna hit up next, but wherever I end up, I will see you there. Well, these shelves look terrible. <laughs> they look really bare. Hand signals. Right, we got a cheapy transformer. Nothing. Anything in plushy land? What's this? We got a woolly mammoth. Got some beanie babies here. People think these are worth money. They are not. <laughs> They'll see them where they're like where they've sold for like five thousand dollars, but it's all a scam. Oh, what's this? Oh, you know who that is? That's the uh that's the mutt to uh cookie cookie crisp the cereal yeah breakfast babies oh we got a little retro 1997 in the house what's his name let's see what's on his tag here general mills let's open this up does it say inside i can't remember this to, oh yeah the the cookie hound chip the cookie hound all right we might have to get this little guy what else we got in here? Is this like a Peter Rabbit? Yeah, there's a lot of beanies. Somebody dumped their beanie collection. What is that? It's like a pig. Some of these could be worth a little bit of money, but most of them are crap. Let's open that up, let's see. The beginning, January 1st, 2000. Also, this is like a, like a Y2K bear or something. Oh man, I don't have time to research all of these. I'm just looking to see if there's any more breakfast babies. What's this, is this a ghost? Oh, yeah, it's a ghost. Oh, look at this guy. Oh, look at that. <laughs> the Pillsbury Dope Boy. All right, let's grab this guy too even though he's got some stains on him. Actually, that might just be fuzz. Oh yeah, it's just fuzz. That's good. They're not actually stains. All right, we'll grab him. What else we got in here? Now I'm interested. <laughs> oh, look at this. Look at this skull, the skeleton. That is cool, man. All right, we'll put that off to the side. What else we got? We got some snowmen, some sort of rocker dog. Oh yeah, check him out. All right, we'll put him there. Finding some more of these breakfast babies. What's back here? Red teddy bear, we got an owl. Guess we're gonna have to dig a little bit in here, huh? Make a mess. What else is in here? Give me some more goodies. Is that uh, Kellogg's cornflakes? <laughs> Maybe. 
Maybe not. Oh no, his name's just Strut. Okay, let's see. What's this? Oh, here we go. Cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, right? Yeah. What else we got in here? For a second, I thought maybe that was Diggum from Diggum Smacks. All right, what else, what else? Okay, so we're definitely grabbing these ones for sure. But let's take a look in these other bins. Mrs. Claus or something. It's a cool one. I kind of like him too. Let's see what's back here. Ostrich. Oh yeah, check out that dude. I'll right, we'll put him over there. just a turkey yeah somebody just dumped their whole beanie collection here all right what's down here Tony the Tiger. <laughs> Let's see. All right. Let's try this pile. Some lucky charms. Craptastic Sams. <laughs> okay, what's over here? Kinds of stuff though. All right, nothing there. How about up here? Knowing me, I'm probably passing over like a thousand dollar beanie just to get these breakfast ones. <laughs> okay, what's down here? That might be about it. Nope, I uh, spoke a little too soon. We got some Count Chocula. Uh, here's another Count. Maybe they have a Frankenberry and a Blueberry in here somewhere. Snap. I don't know what's all under there. 
There's some more stuff under the shelf. What's that thing? Huh. Well, that's kind of cool. It's definitely dirty. It's cool, though. All right, guys. Well, we scored us a lot of Beanie Babies. So I'm not going to go through all of them right now since we're going to do kind of a show and tell here at the very end. But let's go hit up another thrift store. Not exactly sure which one, but wherever it is, I'll see you there. All right, my friends, we are here. <laughs> Where are we? We are, you guessed it, you guessed it, at the Goody Wheel. What you got for me today, Goody Wheel? What you got for me today? Hopefully you got some vintage toys for your boy, some retro 90s. That would be awesome. All right, fingers crossed, vintage Goodwill gods or retro Goodwill gods be good to me today. All right, my friends, final destination, Craptastic Sam's sister location. <laughs> All right, so we're going to head in here, keep our fingers crossed. We're going to pray that the vintage Craptastic gods are good to me today. We're going to check the glass case. We're going to check the shelves. We're going to rummage through some bags. And hopefully we're going to find some goodies. Let's see what they got. All right. What do we got? We got a La La Loopsy plush. Anything over here? Just those two creepy dolls. Oh, hey, there's a survival knife. That's cool, man. I'm going to see how much I want for that. Oh, look. It's the Vader to the Darth Maul that I found the other day. All right, so I just had her pull the Vader out. It's pretty cool with fully functions. It, like I pushed the button, it went off up there. Everybody was looking at me. Um, gonna pass on the survival knife though. It's really like nicked up and dinged up the blade and stuff. So gonna pass on that, but uh, let's check the shelves and then we'll check a few bags. All right, what do we got? Oh, Thomas the Train stuff. Hmm. Looking kind of weak sauce. There's a uh, TMNT Raphael. And here we've got another one. This is like one of those little play sets. I had one of these at one point. I don't know if I still have it. I might have sold it. It's, it's a fun little play set though. Oh, what's this? Oh, it says 1999 on it. No good swindler. Darth Bane, traitor out. Ouch time. Your new one. Must be some sort of game. Hmm. Huh. Wonder how you play it. All right. So this thing isn't worth a whole lot. Maybe like five to eight bucks. We're gonna pass on it. But uh, let's go rummage through some bags. All right. What's in here? Well, there's some sort of a, uh, looks like a Power Ranger. No, it's a Transformer actually. All right. And what is this thing? <sighs> what is this thing? It has like, it's got legs. Is it a horse? I think it might be a horse. Oh yeah, check that out. That's a horse with its saddle. That is kind of cool looking. What do they want for that bag? Three bucks? All right, let's grab this. And what do we got here? Looks like we got a bag full of TMNT stuff. Yeah, we sure do. We got some McDonald's toys. And we got some, I don't know, like little, like Lego looking type figures. Like here's a, here's a shredder. Looks like we might have a motorcycle in there. Little party van. Looks like it might be busted up a little bit though. Hmm. There's a big TMNT right there. And like an Imagine Next one. Oh yeah, there's like a, uh, is that Bebop, I think, right? That might be worth getting. We might be able to flip that for a little bit of money. All right, I'm gonna 
Transformer, Bumblebee. So we got a Hulk. Transformer. Oh, there's a bendable flash. Hmm. Three bucks. All right, guys, so I'm gonna get this playset because this bag of TMNTs has like the little figures that go with this playset. So I'm gonna grab it too. And I think we're gonna make some decent money flipping this stuff. I'm definitely, I'm not keeping this. I'm trying to like go more, just keeping like the vintage stuff that I find. I mean, every once in a while I do find some, oh, oh never mind. I thought, I thought I saw some more TMNT over there, but, uh, you know, if I find some modern stuff, modern stuff that I think is cool, I'll keep it. But um, I'm gonna try flipping more of this stuff. I've kind of, kind of got the cash bug a little bit. I've been flipping some stuff on eBay and Facebook Marketplace a lot lately, and having that extra money is nice. <laughs> so, all right, let's go check out. All right, all right, all right, all right. We got some scores, so we got a, we got a lot of show and tell to do back at the house. All right, so I'm gonna head that way. I'll see you back at the bunker. All right, y'all. I know this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Show and tell. All right, so unfortunately, I didn't do a show and tell right after I filmed this video. And I already sold the Mario bo uh, board game, but this is what it looked like. So I have a picture of it, but I didn't film any video footage of it. I took some pictures to list and I ended up selling it for $35. So that was a pretty sweet score. All right, y'all. I know this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Show and tell. Now check out this large lot of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle toys that I got in that bag and oh my gosh i have something super cool to show you here in just a few minutes that i didn't even realize was tmnt so check this out so here we have a couple of like i guess they're like hot wheels matchbox type cars what's it say on the bottom here actually viacom 2014 play they're just playmates they're not hot wheels or matchbox but they're like these little die cast vehicles we've got splinter and we've got Raphael. we've got some weaponry here for some bigger turtles like the 10 inch turtles i believe and then here's some accessories that also go to some regular tmnt type stuff and then we also have like these vehicles right here which uh this is actually a uh a turtle uh helmet uh what is it a, a samurai helmet so it goes on goes to one of the turtles. I only have one samurai turtle, so I don't know if this would actually fit him or not. I'll have to try it out, but I got this accessory. And then I don't know what these are, but I'm assuming it's something TMNT. But then we got like these little vehicles and I don't know if these figures right here actually go with these little vehicles, but what's interesting about them is that like they don't have like a bottom on them, like none of them. So, but I do think they're kind of cool. So we got those. Oh, let's get this out of this. What is this? What is this? Can't have that junk on my table. Nasty. So we got that. Then there's some McDonald's toys over here. And then we've got these uh, bigger TMNT. This one actually changes into an actual turtle. He's kind of like a transformer. And then I believe this is an Imagine Next turtle right here. And then also I got this play set. And uh, when I was looking in the bag, I saw this little tiny nano turtle in there. And I was like, oh, you know what? I think he probably goes to one of those play sets. And I don't think he goes to this one specifically because this is Leonardo. And obviously this is Raphael. So I'm sure Raphael has his own play set that he comes with. But hey, you know what? This is what was in the store. This is what it's available. So I've got him teamed up with this Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle play set. So I thought that was pretty cool. And then I got like these keychain dudes. And then my absolute favorite, these little wind up toys, man. These are super awesome. I do believe we're missing Donatello, but uh, check this out. I'm gonna go ahead and grab Bebop here and uh, check this out. <laughs> so that's cool. I think Shredder does the same thing. And then same with these turtles. They're not actually like wind up, they're more like rev up. Whoa, geez. <laughs> I 
So, but anyway, pretty sweet lot for what was it? Like four bucks, like $3.43 or something like that. Okay, now this score was the most exciting score for me on the whole toy hunt adventure. This horse. Do you remember when I was looking through the bag in the store and I was like, what is this? Is this a horse? It kind of looks like a horse. I think it's a horse. Well, it turns out it is a horse and it is a teenage mutant ninja turtle samurai guard horse. So how freaking cool is this? Now this samurai guard, I actually found him at Craptastic Sam's main location a few months back along with April over here and this guy. The, uh, the samurai uh, turtle right here, Leonardo, I actually found him under the shelf at, Craft at Craptastic Sam's also a few months ago. I don't know if you guys remember that episode, but I lifted up the shelf and there was a bag of vintage TMNTs under the thrift store shelf, and which was like one of my greatest scores of all time. And, uh, but yeah, it turns out every single person or figure you see in this video right now, with the exception of this guy, I think I bought him at a toy show, which is also Leonardo. So I got doubles of them now, but, um, every single figure in here was actually found in the thrift store, but oh my God, like I'm super jazzed up over this. He's on that jazz, man. He's on that jazz. He's on that jazz, man. He's on that jazz. <laughs> oh man, I love it when a plan comes together. I also snagged this Yo Gabba Gabba Muno, Muno Yo Gabba Gabba. I guess, I think it says Muno or Muno. <laughs> I don't know, maybe it's in Spanish or something. But anyway, I got this little guitar. So I'm gonna turn this on and show you how we can rock out with this thing. I got a little song for you. I'd like to sing it, here it goes. got this little whammy bar. It's summertime, summertime. Hey, summertime, summertime, summertime. <laughs> Sometimes I have way too much fun around here. And then last, but certainly not least, I ended up picking up this entire lot of breakfast babies. They're all from 1997. So we've got some nostalgic 90s in the house and it's everybody's favorite breakfast cereals as a kid. We've got Chip the Cookie Hound from Cookie Crisp. We've got the Honey Nut Cheerios Bee. We've got Count Chocula. We've got Lucky from Lucky Charms. We've got Sunny from Cocoa Puffs. And we've got Wendell the Baker from Cinnamon Toast Crunch. The only one I'm missing is the Trix Rabbit. Silly rabbit, tricks are for kids. But instead, I ended up getting this Pillsbury Doughboy. My brother actually has this exact same Pillsbury Doughboy, except he named his Doughboy James. And he and James is a World War I veteran. And he also uh, has a little wheelchair for James because James was wounded in the war serving his country, which I think is uh, kind of a neat little storyline that he built with his uh, his doughboy. But anyway, um, check these out. These are really cool. And I mean, they look absolutely fantastic just sitting here on the table and they look even better on display here in the bunker. All right, y'all, that wraps up show and tell. I hope you enjoyed watching this content as much as I enjoyed making it for you. If you did, do me a favor, smash that like button. That really helps my, uh, helps my out, helps me out, helps my channel grow. Because when YouTube sees that you like my stuff, they tend to show my stuff to people that more, my stuff to more people that are just like me and you. People that love toy hunting, toy collecting, vintage toys, thrift store toy hunts, the whole nine yards. So that would help me out if you hit the like button. Also, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. I've got a lot more great content coming your way and over 500 videos that you can start binge watching on my channel right now, starting with this next video. I know you're gonna love it.